Hey guys, God bless. I'm Shara. Welcome to Twist and Shout. Please subscribe to my channel for talk about faith, marriage, love, parenting, lifestyle, and of course hair. God bless. All right, so I'm just here so I won't get for no plan. <laughs> Seriously though. All right, so what brings me here today is this whole Lizzo, Lizzo um, confrontation in the social media, you know, the pros and cons, the woe is me's and the she should have known better group. All right, cool. So as we know, if you have not already know, at a Lakers game at the Staples Center, she decided to wear a dress with her butt cheeks cut out exposing her thong where she then persisted to twerk. And again, this is at the Staples Center in broad day with people all around. Then as people responded as they should, because we're emotional creatures, so can't blame nobody for that. And we have the freedom of speech like I have. Um, people clapped back kind of hard and they was hard on her. Now, I am a Christian. I'm a woman of faith. So I will say that you have to learn to do things in love. However, the Bible says live blameless, do everything in moderation. I mean, the list just goes on and on and on. Well, what it, even if you're not religious, think about it this way, because one of the arguments was if that was Beyonce, Rihanna, Trina, that the effects or the responses would not have been the same. I would like to address those people with this one fact here. Do you or do you not remember when Super Bowl, Justin Timberlake, and Janet Jackson, the whole incident or the wardrobe malfunction, you know how the world just went, OMG. And Janet Jackson is Janet Jackson. Like Janet Jackson was before all of them. And whether you guys would like to admit it or not, she was the first to do it. She is the oldest to do it, along with Jennifer Lopez. Hello. And you saw how they came for her and it was understood. And they quickly said, hey, uh, no, this was not intentional. This is a wardrobe malfunction, okay? Now, in the case of Liza or Lizzo, it was intentional. Now, I have a comment to say, okay, how did she actually get all the way to her seat with this dress on without it being an issue? That's my, I would like to know the answer to that. If anybody knows the answer to that, please comment below. But however, anywho, I will say this, you have to do everything in love, yes, but the Bible also talked about how you don't create a problem and then play victim. This is something that all women have an issue with, like choosing the wrong uh, fathers or lovers or careers or issues or people or friends. And we have to understand that one, we have to take responsibility at some point or another. For me, I don't care who it would be. It could have been Michelle Obama. I would say, hey, yo, it's the Staples Center children are here this is not the time or place and the same would be if hey somebody told me this was going on in her concert or her own show her own private party at her home i would say hey mind your business that's what she wants to do that's what she wants to do now obviously and generally speaking i would still feel the same about it. like you know what everybody don't want to see that or everybody didn't come to see that but if it's her show in her own viewing then it would be okay it's understood that this is my show and I can do what I want to do, okay? And you guys come to see me, not the other way around. But at a Staples Center, at a basketball game, where obviously the people came to gravitate towards the game itself and the players that actually played the game, that was entirely inappropriate. Entirely. And I would even say this, because mind you, I'm not harsh. Like, I'm not the type to say just... You know what? You just shouldn't twerk or do nothing at all. I understand that people have a life. People have their own opinions. People are grown. I'm that person. And say that, hey, when it's time or when it's necessary, God will convict those who are chosen for his will and his glory. And that's not everybody. So I we can't come to everybody and say, hey, she need to put a long dress on or she need to wear pants down to her ankles. We cannot do that. We can suggest that, but we have to also understand that, hey, everybody does not belong to the Christian community. Everybody is not God's children. It's that simple. He has chosen who he wants. And there is those who are just as ignorant as they or are just simply not chosen. They don't understand. They don't know because God did not give them that wisdom. Amen. 
So I would say if she would have had a regular dress on or regular shorts or regular pants or cat suit and twerk, it probably would have went a little different. It probably would have been in her favor, like, yeah, girl, you wanted the first to get up and twerk at a game, hey. And, you know, that would have went towards, you know, how she's presented and what she likes and the kind of attention that she wants. But completely exposing your butt cheeks with a thong, something that's meant to be worn under the clothes and not out of the clothes, this is the issue. Children are there. And we, we in this generation where, all right, y'all want to say do it for the kids or it's harmless for the kids. If that is the case, then you should have a problem with this because whether you were there with your kids or not, somebody was. And somebody went home with a bunch of questions and a bunch of concerns that was not related to the game. Hello? And again, I, the whole woe is me mentality, we have to chill out. I had to learn from it. You are what you attract. It's plain and simple. And if you want to clean up your act and clean up your image, you have to do so. But you can't just be wide open one minute and decide to be reserved the next. Even if we're mentioning Beyonce and Riri, bad girl Riri is known for her personality, her attitude to say, hey, this is what I like. It doesn't matter if you don't like it. But she owns that. You don't see her coming to social media and crying and woe is me and I hate y'all and y'all hate me and y'all just doing this because no. Because she owns who she is. And even Trina. Trina is a bad chick. Trina gets down with the best of them, okay? But do you see her going in public at a game exposing herself? No. Beyonce and Rihanna, when they go to games, basketball, football, whatever the case, because that's what you go to for the game or the sport. Guess what? They, they go, they sit down, they enjoy themselves, they have fun. It's a family thing. It's, that's not the moment where to get so much attention. They are who they are, so they automatically get people, you know, pro, pro, paparazzi, taking pictures, click, click, click. But that's because of the status they are. I'm pretty sure in their mind, they're like, look, man, I'm just at the game. Like, hey, I'm trying to, you know, yeah, I'm just trying to enjoy myself. I ain't here for all that. And you can tell because instead of exposing themselves, they will put on layers, like how I am right now, and just be like, yeah, yeah, I'm just, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And they sit there and they take a moment away from the outside world. But when you start mixing the world and mixing things together, you're opening up a can of words that you do not want and that you are not ready for. Now, I honestly, as always, with everybody that I talk about, I'm going to pray for them. And I'm going to pray that God give them wisdom and understanding to, if you know better, you do better. But we have to get rid of the woe is me because we can't learn from that. Amen. That's my two cents. Pray for the world. Pray for the president. Pray for yourself. God bless. Bye-bye. <laughs>